things that we need to address of that nature. I don't have a problem with it. What you say? Basically, widen some of the city roads. See it drive down Davis Road. Going from yep. from Liberty to Rob Roy. Then they, that's I think that's what they tested it with. Yep. Bought. It's a widener to widen the roads that way traffic on both sides. It basically makes a shoulder about like that with gravel, and then it just gently slopes it off. So yeah, that's that's a good that's a good one there, and the county has one of those that we can use, so we won't have to. I think we'd be out material so. Well, I think it would be beneficial too. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, if that's it, do I need a roll call or anything? Just an acknowledgement of it? If anybody else has any questions. All right. Anybody? All right. Moving on. Um, before you have the minutes, financial reports. I'm sorry. I'm going on, rambling on. Before you got the minutes of the last meeting, after reviewed, I'll ask for a motion to accept the minutes as read for the last meeting. I'll make a motion. I have a first by Mary Bell. Second. Second by Tony. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like say Motion carries. Uh, Terry, do you have anything at this time to... I think I've talked to you about everything. Right okay. All right. Um, before you have your financial reports, after reviewed, I'll ask for a motion to accept the financial reports as read. Mayor, I make a motion to accept the financial reports. I have a first by Jeff Renfro. Second. Second by Mary Bell. All in favor say aye. Aye. Holds like sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, we don't have no old business, so we'll move on down to uh, new business. And I'm going to let Lisa explain this one a little bit. Okay, so we have cemetery, cemetery CDs that are governed by... Um, um, he's an attorney from Lowell, and he... He's a trustee. Yes, that was the word I was looking for. And we asked permission that we could buy a gator for our cemetery. Uh, we provided pictures, and he gave his blessings. So what happens on that is there is a CD that's for about 18, a little over 18,000, and the gator is going to um, cost like 15,000. So what I, we would need to be, what would be left over in that 18,000 CD, we would open a new CD for the remainder $2,600 roughly. So what I'm asking the council is can I close one CD, take out the money for the gator, open a new CD with the remaining amount of money that was left over in the original CD. So I just need two motions. And I'll make the motion. Fine. We take close one CD, open another one. Okay. Right. Use the funds for the long run. Okay. These, these are in our cemetery trust funds. These are cemetery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much is it left in the full one CD? What? The, tr the trust balance. I'm just curious how much. On um, the cash, um, there is eighty-three thousand eight seventy-seven in four CDs, and then there is ninety-one thousand five eighty-seven in the remaining CD. It's on that cash statement. Okay, I just wanted to make in all of that is to the trustee. Yes, he's okay. the one. He, he is the one that is over that. Okay. So nothing really can be done without his permission first, and then we bring it before the council. Okay, I have a first by Mary Bell, second by Tony Renfro. All in favor, say aye. 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 Looks aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, this is for the acknowledgement of Proclamation General Aviation Appreciation Month. Um, that's for the month of May, so that's just the acknowledgement of that. So, um, moving on down, we're going to skip the sewer line replacement on Crabtree Alley. That's going to have to be bidded out, so uh, it's over the amount of what forty? Yes, yeah, forty-nine. So, so we're going to have to bid that out. So that might be at a special call meeting or what what have you there. 
Okay, um, it's been brought to my attention that we are in need of a uh, 60 inch X mark. Um, and I've got that price at $11,500. I will need a motion to purchase. What's this one for? Uh, it'd be for the city maintenance, for all the other stuff that they don't mow. Okay, so it's not to be used for the long or uh, no, no. Th this is for like maybe the Ellis Park and okay. all the maintenance office work and all that stuff. Fire department. My so. station could probably just push my button. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I got a weed eater you can buy. I'm out on weed eating. I got that liquid spray, buddy. That's good stuff. I got my license for it. I'm good. <laughs> So I need a, do we have a motion to purchase this? I make a motion we purchase the lawnmower, the X mark for 11 .5. Okay. Second. Second by Tony. Uh, and this is to be taken out of? Occupational. All, right. All in favor say aye. Aye. Hold the like sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay. Um. Before you, this is the first reading of the financial budget 2024-02. Um, Jeff, do you care to read that one off? I don't have my glasses. I can't see that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Ordinance 2024-02. An ordinance adjourning the City of Hartford, Kentucky annual budget for the fiscal year 07-01-24 through 06-30-25 by estimating revenues and resources and appropriating funds for the operation of city government. Whereas an annual budget proposed and message has been prepared and delivered to, up to the City Council, and whereas the City Council has reviewed such budget proposal and made necessary modifications. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the city of Hartford. Thank you, Jeff. Um, so that's just the first reading. If you have any questions before the next meeting, get with me or Lisa if there's anything that you might see because it's important that we try to get this budget passed. So um, that's all I have on that. Um, I guess on information, uh, Meredith reached out to me and, when was that? <laughs> Help support funding. What day? May? Well, it's on the 10th maybe, I don't no, know. No, no. <laughs> It's on the Saturday in June, and it's from 10 to 1.30. I did not put the date, sorry. I'll only give you the date, just one moment. <laughs> it's what? It's a fun day at Ellis Park. Meredith's putting oh. the event oh. on. Okay. I thought I was going to be cool and tell you. <laughs> <laughs> fun day for who? That, maybe me. Or I else. need it, I guess. I don't know. Are we going to do hot dogs or anything like that? Or? I think she's... I think she's got it's some stuff. Inflatables. Yeah. Um, games inflatables, and games, and everything. Like so, yeah, they'll have food set up too as well. Okay. Yep. They don't know the date. <laughs> I mean, Is everybody coming anyway? <laughs> we got permission Sorry, from Jeremy Crow, and he is got holding that park for us for those hours for that, so that we don't have to worry about softball being up there. Okay. While she's looking for that, is it? Um, we need to have a uh, special called meeting, probably around May the sixth, if all possible. And that is for the gas bids. We're going to have to put that in there. So would everybody be okay for a special called meeting on May the sixth? It's a Monday, right? Yes. First Monday. 
First Monday, yep. I don't know if I'll be here that day. Set on a Monday. Yeah. The single purpose is for the opening of the bids. The That's just open opening of the bids, and and it's going to be the only bid. So. Yeah, I might have to my okay. I think the concern there is that uh, we have this <clears throat> meeting in there, mm -hmm. and our existing contract expires here within the, before the yep. next meeting. So we've got to get those. Started. So. If we need your call, or well, if it's not commuted, it moved earlier. Okay. Okay. So five o'clock, May the sixth. Yeah. All right. June twenty ninth is Ellis Park Fun Day. June twenty ninth, Ellis Park Fun Day. Thank you, Lisa. June <laughs> From ten to one thirty. That's what the ten was on. That. That's the ten to one thirty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I hate to see y'all's records. Uh, you like. have no idea. Okay. Um, that's all I've got. Um, does anybody in public have anything? Mayor, I, I'd like to... Uh, I'm going to be very appreciative right now. I know our fire department has been on a lot of runs. Unfortunately, we've had a couple of... Runs mm -hmm. a bad look for some of the families in the area, and I think our fire department's great. But I just want to personally uh, commend our police department. I think that uh, Chief York has done a fantastic job of taking over the department, getting you know better word out to the community, engaging the community, and doing doing a really good job of, of uh, being a very respectful he's, police force. And he's been proactive, and he's and they're going to see a lot more. He's got some other ideas. Um, I know that he's talked about maybe purchasing some stuff out of the drug account. If a traffic stop or something, you know, we're, we're going to get back to the community, and that's positive policing that we're starting to see. So. I, I just, I really, I really nice enjoy seeing the community. <laughs> yeah. Being engaged. So, I do appreciate that. Don't speed if Dale Miller works, because I fixed his radar there tonight. His car was messed up. The kicked the and I got fixed. I come in and fix it. He's like, I'm going to tell you fix it. It's not my stop unless I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, they have been really good. Um, Jeff, do you have anything? I don't, Mayor. No. Okay. Lisa, do you have anything? No. What's the time on that special meeting? Gregory? Five o'clock, May the 6th. Mary Bell, do you have anything to bring to the table? Not really. Okay. All right. I'll change my mind. Tony, do you have anything to bring up to to the table? Yep. I was asked to get a bid. Trees, trimming, taking them out at Ellis Park. I got a bid for sixty two hundred dollars. Okay. Move five trees and trim the rest of them up. Okay. Um, I will, I talked to Jeff about that, and I wanted to confirm that if we, if we do that now, we could, I don't, we couldn't use the grant for that later to reimburse it, so it, it's either, if we want to do it now, we just go on and do it now, and not right, put it on the grant, so it's up to the council of however you want to do that. So when you get the grant, you can't take the money out of the grant and put it back in. Uh -uh. No. Because it's, they're, they classify it as a job that's already done, basically. <coughs> so, um, so it's up to you all. If y'all want to do it now, I'm, I'm okay with it. Whatever, whatever y'all think is fine with me. Or if you want to wait to the grant. Because that's the grant that's already got awarded, right? Right, yes. So, I mean, it's... We just... It's either we do it now or we put it on the grant as well. It don't, whatever you want to do. So. Huh? Well, that's just one of those things that it could be, it could be a year to two years out. I mean, they're just the backed problem, up. Yeah, the problem with the county is just when you do the grant, you have to sign that grant agreement. And so you're, you really can't engage in any activities before that because once you sign that agreement, they have to approve that work, and then that's how you get reimbursed. 
Well, what about the five trees that were taken out? Are they in a, are they placed such that they're going to interfere with the uh, expansion work, or are they in bad shape? They're just in bad shape. There's one by the baseball field that is in bad shape. Well, then I think we should definitely take those trees down. Okay. Okay, so do I have a motion for the six thousand two hundred dollars for I'll the tree, tree service? Okay. I have a I have a motion by Mary Bell. I'll second. Second by Coleman. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like si motion carries. So that will be taken out of occupational occupation. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I appreciate you. Um, if that's it, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn this meeting. Uh, Coleman, you got anything to bring to the table? Sorry. Yeah, the lawnmower's done. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm running late. You got to do push ups. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn this meeting. I'll make a motion here. Second. Second by Jerry. Uh, you can tell them. I mean, that's fine. Uh, well, I mean, it's just, I know we've, you know, we've been looking for a truck. Uh, everything we found still there are junk. Uh, real leaf truck. Chipper uh, truck. The one's broke. I took up. We talked to this morning. I'm going over tomorrow. Make them an offer, and they'll take it to their city and see if they'll accept it. They're so they're uh, 2011 internationals. One's got 97,000 miles on it. One's got 88,000. So. How much do they want? If they're going to auction in two weeks, so we can make a bid. We can offer them something. When is that auction? Maybe like that. Okay, here's what we can do. Find out them numbers. If we have that special call meeting May the 6th, we'll put it on the agenda. And that will be them two items, and we can act on them accordingly. But you're saying that if we make a reserve... We can, yeah, I can make them a bid. And they let us know if they'll accept it or not, and then it can proceed. And then if we go to the auction... No, we'll see what it is. If, if they don't accept it. Yeah, if we don't accept it, then we've got an option, then we can go over and bid more. But yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we can do it either way. We do have the money set aside, a certain budget for this purchase already. So if we stay within that, I think we'll be okay. So we'll just play it out where we're at on it. So it is in the budget for it. So we'll look at it and see where we're at from there. So. Yep. What are you saying? But he wanted to go in the morning. Mary Bell, you all already budgeted for the truck. So what he's saying is he can make a bid within that budget, and it's already been approved because the budget was approved. And if you need to go beyond that amount, then you can't. But at a meeting. But up, as long as you're within the budgeted amount, you're okay. And if you buy it, it's not going to go to auction. Yeah. I know that. I know that. <laughs> but Jason's wanting to go over there in the morning. We're going to go look at it and make them an offer, see what it's worth, and yeah. then compare yeah. and make them an offer, and then come back. That's good. And then they'll, whatever okay. we offer, then they'll see if they'll accept it. They can sell, like we do, they can sell city to city without having to 